Hi everybody, Pam at the Paper Outpost here with the much promised how to dry flowers quickly. And um, this is the little gizmo I was talking about. This is not a sponsored video. This is just something that I happen to come across you know, in my you know searches. And I found this little thing and it made my life a heck of a lot easier because I could do things relatively quickly. So today I'm going to take these flowers and with the little gizmo, his little gizmo's name, is micro fleur yes um, and uh, it is basically a flower press that you can put into the microwave and in about a minute and a half you have dried flowers and it's that quick and that easy and I didn't believe it until I actually did it and I watched some videos on it there's not a ton of videos on it but some of them made it sound a lot more complicated than it is and it's really not that hard so I think I'm going to show you how I do it and uh, you may or you may think this is valuable or you may think this is a waste of time totally up to you but I'm going to show you what I do and um, there are more inexpensive there's, there are less expensive ways to do this in the microwave by using terracotta plates or bricks or something that's microwave safe that's flat that you can just press together and that you can put some kind of uh, moisture absorptive padding like felt. This is really all this is is just some type of felt that they use. Oh, I guess it went a little too hot there. I did a lot of experimenting in the beginning so you're going to see some uh, uh, war wounds of that. And this is used. This comes clean of course when um, you get it but I have done many flowers on here and uh, it just absorbs some of the the flower moisture so basically in a nutshell what you're doing is you're making a, a giant sandwich okay so on the outside oh I'm missing one thing hang on the clips you must have the clips to put this together so you need four clips and uh, I think that's what makes it uh, nice and easy now truth be told um, this particular one I have is nine by nine and it's about 52 bucks to buy on Amazon but you can buy a smaller one, 5x5, five five, which I think is $29, which is a hefty price either way, the smaller the large one. But if you're going to do a lot of flowers, it might make sense. If you're just going to do an occasional flower every now and then, you might be better off just using the old book press method by sticking it in a book and forgetting about it and coming back years later going, oh yeah, I remember when I did that. Okay, because that's what used to happen to me all the time. So this was more time efficient, and I like that. So here we go. All right, so basically you take a plate... And you put the flat side up and you put one felt pad moisture absorbing felt pad down okay sorry for the bad camera work on this stuff but i don't really have a a mobile setup or a, a tripod so this is what we got all right um me and my hand <laughs> so i'm working one-handed okay and then you put this cotton sheet down so if you're trying to build your own you could also think about this like maybe a terracotta maybe a tile or something like that that's very flat and a piece of felt and a piece of cotton. I'm not sure if that would work, but I kind of think it might. And then binding it together somehow. Um, okay, so what you do is I took a hydrangea and I've got some daisies and some rose petals because that just happened to be what I have on hand today. And the whole idea is you let, you need to, I, I would say do your thinsies together and then your thicksies together. So I'm going to do my thinsies first. And my thinsies I'm calling the hydrangea flower. Is that going to focus? Focus? Nope. Okay, fine. You don't have to focus. I'm not going to fight with you today. All right, little camera. Um, and you want to put it face down. So you put it face down and you try and cut off the little stem. You don't want the little stem because it's going to get in the way. So put it face down. Let me just put a bunch of these face down. I'm trying not to make you seasick. Sorry. All right, that one. And if I'm going too slow, please speed me up. You have the power. You have the power. It's in the settings button. Bottom right, I think. Um, okay, so we put some of these down. These are pretty blue ones. I, I wonder if they put them in a, like a blue food color dye or something in the water to make them go blue. Or are they naturally blue? Does anybody know? I bet we've got some horticulturalists out there. And they'll be like, oh, no, this is what it is. And then we all know, which is kind of nice. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm not going to fuss over one that's folding over. I'm not fussing on you. Okay. So I'm going to put, do my rose petals on this one as well. Cause I would call those thins, thins. All right. Oh, thin. I forgot one thing extra. Okay. So I will uh, get that while it is. No, I will stay here. Hang on. Don't move. I'll go get it right now. Okay. I just grabbed tweezers because they're very handy here. All right. We don't need those to the end though. And um, okay, so I have those arranged. It's best if they're not touching because then they won't uh, press together 
that happens sometimes if they're touching so don't let them don't let them touch of course mine are all touching now they say that okay we turn you around everybody get in rows okay now well, that's pretty good okay so now we put this cotton thing down doesn't matter which way and then we put the other felt down and we give a little mush squish okay you might hear some cracking that's okay and now you grab the top piece and you put it on top and if I had another arm this would be so easy but I'm gonna put the clips on and they basically just slip on the sides okay I'm get that one on I'm using my belly as the uh, brace yeah, there <laughs> works well <laughs> okay and three missing one four okay there's the fourth one okay oh there okay good all right now we're going to go over to the microwave and we're going to put it in that was holly on the floor he's making a mess in the corner don't look <laughs> all right i'll show you in a second while we're cooking um and it's it, oh, he's destroying my kitchen, but I can't stand uh, locking him up. Okay, so uh, let's do a minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so here we go. A minute. Oh, keep going. 30. Okay, and go. So we'll talk together in the meantime. Hi. And, uh, here, okay, here's what he's doing. He's literally destroying my kitchen. Definitely, I love parrots, but they are destructive. So if you get one, just make sure you're okay with this reality yeah yeah that's you isn't it yeah you look so cute in the picture on facebook but this is reality uh-huh uh-huh uh, but uh yeah i give him <clears throat> we've uh, actually just uh, what i call given up on that corner <laughs> of the kitchen <laughs> and we're gonna have that replaced so uh um you know i i that was a broccoli down on the floor i was hoping he would enjoy the broccoli more than the wall and uh, uh he has actually managed to chew his way through the baseboard and under the cabinet where I don't really like him going because there's there's uh you know wires and stuff in there so I blocked that all off so he can't get in there and he's not so happy about that but that's anyway that's the the parrot back to the timer 35 34 33 and I'm going to do this one live countdown with you so you can actually see it really is a minute and 30 seconds and uh um the thicker ones, I'm still actually going to probably try it a minute and 30 seconds, and this might even be too long for the thin ones, but let's just see what happens, because I remember a minute and 30 seconds is kind of like the golden time. You can always go a little bit longer if they're, if they're not um, completely done. So let's see. Okay, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay. Okay. Yay. Let's see. Okay, this highly overpriced but very... Effective. Now I'm afraid to say that because something, something will something will go wrong. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So here we are taking off the clips. They're easy to get off. See, I did that one-handed. It's very hot. Just remind yourself. This thing actually steams the flowers in their own juices. Okay. So be prepared. It might be a little steamy when you open it. Just mind mindful of your eyes and your hands. So I'm taking off the the felt and the outer thing. And here's the one inner ready the big reveal oh, okay some of them might stick to one side some of them might stick to another okay so i would say i would have i give it 50 percent success and let me just give you a close-up okay so that one i would say is a little overcooked so you can actually say see that a minute and a 30 seconds on the thinsies um, is almost a little bit too much for that rose petal and sometimes it's trial and error um, for the hydrangeas, I think it worked out really well. So you can grab these. You see, they are flat and done. I mean, these are paper dry done. I let them, there's a little bit of moisture you'll feel coming off as the uh, uh, moisture evaporates, but um, you just leave these on your counter for uh, like, a, like a minute. Um, just back up so you can see what I'm doing. And uh, they're, they're dry. I mean, they are ready to go to be glued in. Let me get off my thingy oh I got a stick on there that's why there's like a little pin stick on this one side it's very small you see it probably not probably won't focus um no it won't focus okay but anyway there is a little pin there is there maybe not I don't know I thought I saw one I don't have my glasses on so okay so basically the tweezers help you lift up the flower see that and you can put it down. I know what the problem is. I've got glue on my uh, tweezers. That's, that's the problem. Okay. Not that there's a little stick. 
Um, the stick was the glue that I saw sticking down. Okay. Um, so anyway, here's another one. And yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. See, all pretty. And it, and and it, it does change the color a little bit, but sometimes the color is actually nicer than what you started with. I think. Um, and the little delicate flowers are actually really handy for journals because there's so many ways you can use them as little extra added embellishments and whatnots. Okay, this guy. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Come to you. Yeah. Okay, so he's, yeah, I'm just putting these on the counter. Oh. So it really, that's all there is to it. And not much more than that. No brain surgery here either which is kind of nice. Um, they are brittle and dry, so you have to be careful when you lift them up. If they stick, they will crack. So that's a rose. Look at all the vine, vein, veinage in that. That's awesome, isn't it? Um, okay, so let's see these over here. Sometimes they stick to the top piece and sometimes they stick to the bottom piece. Okay. Oh, that this is a pretty one. Look at that one. Can you see that? Yeah, that's nice. And um, yeah, so all those are flower splotches. And I imagine you could launder this. I just... Uh, uh, haven't <laughs> because I've been crafting. Okay. Um, truth be told. Okay. There you go. So that is all those. Now let's try the thicker ones and let's see how they do. And, um, we're at 11. So, okay. So I'm going to do the, um, daisies. I'm going to put them face down and I try and cut as much of the back nib off as possible, but not so much so that all the petals fall out. That's a kind of a learning curve thing. You'll, you'll go, you'll know when you start to snip them and you take off the stem, how much you can get away with and this and that. Okay. So let me show you what I'm doing here. Okay. Three, here's a little baby one and, and little ones are very handy because they go in little tiny places and we have a lot of little tiny places. Um, and let's do some leaves. Uh, got some rose leaves on here. I would say these are medium thickness. And these are the daisy petal leaves. So I thought I would uh, add some of those because they're pretty. And uh, yeah, you don't need to have official flowers. You can just go out your front door and take a look around and see what you can find. Sometimes the smaller the better, I find, when... Uh, actually, there's, there's no rules. There's no rules. It's just right. Yeah. What am I, an Outback commercial? Yeah, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> um, okay. Um... There we go. Okay, so let's say we have that. I'm trying not to accidentally turn my phone off while I do this. That's why I'm sort of fumbling around here a bit, but okay, first layer goes down. Second felt layer goes down. And like I said, there's more, there's inexpensive ways to do this. And I think you can probably uh, check that out on YouTube somewhere, but this is the gizmo that I use and love. And uh, let me just put this in here. Okay, sometimes the, okay, just trying to, I get this one. Okay, these are fatter flowers, so I've got to use a little more muscle here to get the clip on. Okay, once you get one on, then it's kind of easier going. There we go. And, uh, yeah, my little chunky monkey's there. All right, into the microwave. Okay, here we go. Oh, not 40. Go 30. Okay. And you'll, you know what? It's, it depends on your microwave strength. This is just with my microwave. So your microwave might work a little bit differently. So make sure you have some test flowers. Yes. <laughs> okay. See the moisture on the counter that it leaves? That's the moisture that's coming out of your flowers. Uh, so it, here's our Dunsies. Aren't they pretty? Ready to be used. I mean, like these are like dry, dry, dry. And, um, so I just have a, a regular microwave. I don't think there's anything fancy about it or anything. But um, um, so there you go. You can get dried flowers in a minute and a half. And I think that's kind of cool. And uh, it certainly opens up worlds of possibilities when you get inspired to use your, um, you know, you want to use some um, uh, dried flowers in your stuff. And uh, I put a link below all the videos. Um, is it in all the videos? It's in every video since I mentioned the dried flower thing. So I'm going to put it below all the videos. Just haven't done that yet, but it will be below this video. If you're looking for it, it's called the, uh, I just put um, fast drying flowers tool or something like that. You'll see it. It's near the bottom of the list of the favorite um, tools and, and supplies. Um, but it's called the Microfleur. And like I said, it's about 52 bucks, something like that shipped. I, I, I think that includes shipping. I'm not hundred percent sure, but, um, uh, maybe it depends on what Amazon you have, 
but um, there is a $29.99 one or something if you want the smaller one. But I just felt like I couldn't get as many flowers on there, and I'd be here for days doing this. So I like to, you know, do a bunch when I'm going to do them. So, um, and uh, I guess this is the biggest size that'll fit in a microwave, nine by nine. So yeah, take that into account. Make sure you get the right size for your microwave too. That that could be an issue. Um, now this is this is hot, like hot, hot. Okay, so be careful. Okay, I'm opening. Hey there, the felt came off with it because it's stuck due to the moisture. And now I'm the big reveal. What did we get? What did we get? Oh, look at that. How cool. Yeah, very cool, isn't it? Look how flat. I don't know if you can see this, but look how flat they went. I mean, they're like flat. And uh, now you can let it air dry for a little bit before you peel them off. Sometimes, oh, this is a good technique, the flick technique. Well, sometimes you don't even have to use the, to see, they just fall off. These are a little stuck a little more. Maybe they're more moist, but it's, but it's coming. See that? Oh, sorry, are you there, please? Please still be there. Okay, you're still there. Whew. Okay, yep. <laughs> I apparent, I hired a very expensive camera person, and they didn't show up today. No, that's that's not true. Um, my husband left for work, and I was going to ask him to hold the camera, but I just wanted to get this out here for you guys because I know you've been asking about it. But, um, yeah, see all the moisture that comes out? It's just amazing. So, yeah, all that moisture came out of uh, these daisies. So let me see if I can get these others off with one hand. This is easier with two hands, I promise. Yeah. Go on. Almost. I get you. They feel very papery. Very papery and dry. Yeah. Okay. Almost. Oh, okay. Yep. Yep. And the little baby. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> And let's check our leaves out. How did they do? They just fell right off. And the leaves are great. I'll try not to drag them through the moisture. That would be, you don't want to put moisture back in after you just took it out. That would be silly. Okay, so I'm putting my dried leaves here. Very dry. Very dry. I wish you could feel them. Um, yeah, it's it's a quite a satisfying experience. Uh, you know, like I said, a little on the pricey side, but uh, you have to ask yourself, honestly, how much you're going to do of it. But if you think this could be a thing and it might be a nice birthday gift for yourself or uh, for someone to get you, if they're like, what what do you, what did you want? It might be the Microfleur fast drying microwave. Um, yeah, bone dry, bone dry. Okay, there you go. See, there they all are. So that was quick and easy, right? So um, I hope this helps and I hope you find it fascinating it and you think of so many things that you can use these for. I use these um, with my embellishments. I will actually just glue the flower or the leaf straight down on the paper with some Fabrifix. That's a nice glue to use with this because it has a little bit of a, uh, like a silicone jelly uh, texture to it. So it's going to have natural rock and roll flexibility, and that's going to help cushion the leaf or the flower from fracturing when the page is turned. Now, will these, uh, you can also sandwich these flowers between uh, two pieces of acetate uh, and make like a, a hard uh, rigid frame for them so they don't flex, um, which is a cool idea. I think um, you could do like a specimen of a flower um, or you could uh, decoupage the flowers down. I've done that before. That works really well. And uh, you can put these on journal cards or on your pages or on envelopes. Oh, they look really cool on envelopes. They probably wouldn't survive mailing, but they'd sure look pretty on just a decorative uh, envelope. And um, um, on your flips, um, on, on page layouts. Gosh, you could have a whole page full of, uh, flowers or a page full of leaves. Wouldn't that look cool? Um, and you could write like little genus and species or names or something like that under them. Oh, I don't know. There's just a million things that you can do. But anyway, this was very fun to show you this. And this is pretty much the entire operation. It's uh, pretty quick, easy, clean. And, um, like I said, the link is down below if you're interested or you want to check it out. And, uh, I think it's just, a. I don't know. I've never heard of the company. Company before it's a small company and um, but they do make this and uh, I was talking to my florist about it because uh, we generally get a, a like a fresh set of posies 
every week and uh, we never know what we're going to get but it's a great um, way to have a source for flowers if you like to work with flowers and I do and I would recommend the hydrangea flower let's say you don't have a lot of money for flowers or you would like to use some of the fancier flowers but they're really expensive which they are um, a hydrangea is great because you get a lot of little flowers a uh, little bang for your buck there okay, focus one focus okay um, uh, there are many, many flowers in here hiding in the hydrangea. So one hydrangea will do you for quite a while. Actually, that was a tip he gave me. Use the hydrangeas for dried flowers. So I did. I did. And roses, of course, are always great. Uh, they may or may not retain their original color or they may transform to a new color, I have found. Leaves generally um, stay pretty green. I mean, you're, that's it. That They don't turn brown after this. This is sort of what you get. And... Um, uh, uh, so that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this little journey down the uh, flower drying lane. And I'll try and keep everything steady, steady and not make you seasick anymore. Um, but that's it. And uh, I had fun. I hope you enjoyed this process. Um, or at least gave you food for thought for a way you could maybe, uh, you know, uh, alter this so it's workable for you or would serve your needs. That's the most important thing. But the most, most, most important thing is that you have fun. Yes. So have lots of fun out there and get your crafting in and make sure you create with reckless abandon. And if you find value here, please like, subscribe and share. Check us out on Facebook and the podcast and Pinterest and Instagram and Twitter and all these fun places. And all the links are down below, down below. And um, I'll be talking to you soon. Got more ideas coming your way. Take care, everybody. And uh, happy crafting.